All right, everybody, and welcome back to Hexile Gaming. I'm Scott, and we got another match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Furious George on the left, Matthias on the right. <clears throat> We've got a big, bad uh, scum swarm on the left for Furious George. We've got the Outer Rim Pioneer. We've got two Benair Pirates, a Crimor... It's not Crimea. It's Crimora. Goon, Drea Rinthal, and the Jakku Gunrunner. On the right, we've got Death Rain, Major Rhymer, and Captain Jonas. We've got Proton Torpedoes. We've got Cluster Missiles. We've got Proximity Mines and Proton Bombs. We've got Skilled Bombardiers and Trajectory Simulators, as well as Marksmanship on both of the bombers. Ooh, look at this. 4K, 3K, 3K. So these bombers looking to uh, drop some bombs. Force the... Uh, force the scum squad to come through the rocks. I'm sure he'll be happy to oblige. Matthias has uh, fought this scum swarm once before. So he's not going to be surprised anymore. Maybe. Um, but it is still pretty scary. Oh boy. Connor in the chat trying to start in 3K. In Rike with a 3K, but no. No, no, no. I'm not allowing it. Take that one back. So the uh, Cremora Goon might have to bank away from this. Maybe we'll see some flanking here from a pirate. And no, Drea needs to stay with the squad. So this is a good tactic by uh, the bombers here. They're going to play the long game. Could see a nimble bomb here. A two bank. They don't have seismics though, right? They have protons and proximities. Could see a proximity here. So maybe we'll see uh, hard turns. Ooh, let me start that timer. Got it. Glad we both started timers at the same time. All right, so I don't think I imagine we're going to see some banks here. We're not going to see these guys turn right. Banks to the left. Death Rain. Could even just take a bump. George. Lots of ships to uh, dial in here. Let me take a look at that. We've already seen it once today, but every stream is a new day. Regular Jakku Gunrunner, Outer Rim Pioneer. Gonna allow these ships to shoot from on top of rocks. Uh, two Baneer Pirates with cluster missiles. Drea with uh, dorsal turret, allowing her to give rerolls to all the generics. And then a Crimora Goon, Ion Cannon Turret, and Veteran Turret Gunner are going to allow for a double tap. So we'll see the uh, Ion Cannon Turret arc probably always going to be facing forward. And then the Dorsal Turret arc is going to be facing left or right. 
to give Drea a nice 180 degree arc of rerolls. Pat's coming after me strong in the chat. He wants these pictures, but I'm not sending him. That's uncouth. So do we see hard turn? The, the best thing for George to do is hard turn. Start working your way up the board. You know these proximity mines are going to be here. There it is. I believe the nimble bombers can use bank maneuvers, right? And skilled allows for twos. Yeah, he's doing that. That looks a little weird. But I probably would have thrown that one a little sideways. But, oh well. Maybe we'll see these guys move away and reload. Why not? <laughs> Pat very impressed with the number of upgrades here. You know what's great? Not having to enter them into the overlay manually. Oh, so nice. Oh, you can't reload proximity mines. Good point. Sam, thank you. And let's go ahead and keep track of these proximity mines. He dropped three. This, uh, this card's charge cannot be recovered. In case you were wondering. I think we have proprietary overlay software. Now, Scott, come on. Oh boy. I'm sure it's working out great. Your Star Wars Legion overlay that I don't know ever got used for Legion. Let's not make this about you, okay? This is my stream. Look at this quad jumper, so beautiful, moves forward, two bank and a focus, same out of the Z. Maybe Drea and the, uh, the second Benair pirate are going to take their own path. But these proximity mines really going to screw them up. This is really going to mess up the, the swarm flying here. One bank relieves the stress. And looks like he's going to boost out of the way. Make room for Jonas and Reimer. It's two bank. And another. So a nice wall of obstacles here. Let's just hope that he doesn't get tractored onto his own devices. That would be tragic. It's a little hard to see them. When they're not locked, you get an edge highlight, but not when they are locked. So do you keep pursuing here, or do you 4K and try to come back in with your uh, your friends here? Oh, we had a bump on the Outer Rim Pioneer. That's going to screw up some of the formation flying. So the, uh, the bomber is already making the Scum Squad nervous here.
Well, do we see these guys turn around? Deathrain has a... Does he have a 2k? Yeah, just turn him. Force the, uh, the scum player to engage you over here and throw a bomb. This is still a pretty good lane, but if you if you follow Major Rhymer, I mean, maybe you can bait out the proximity mine here and then turn around, but it's going to take you so long to get back with your other squad here. Two banks. He might be going a little too fast. We'll see. lands on the rock here takes one damage so this uh, this strategy for the bombers already paying off oof another bump out of the pioneer just can't catch a break too hard out of Drea you'll see a big three or something Takes the uh, the stressed barrel roll. It's a red action for the Y wing. Too hard turn out of Death Rain. Is he gonna boost? He could boost to line up a uh, a bomb throw next turn, or he can just throw it over here. Three hard turn from Jonas. Takes the focus. Four straight out of Rhymer. And a focus. So the delaying has gone about as long as it can. He's going to have to engage here. Bomb throw is going to be out here. Don't know if that's beneficial. You could still stop with Death Rain and maybe hard turn in with Jonas. Rhymer could do another two or three. Try and target lock whoever's moved up. Do you do ones here with the scum stuff? Good three bank with the Z. Snake your way through this. Hmm, that'd be a little too dangerous. Maybe a three hard and then a three bank next turn. I'm saying, yeah, you do ones and force the bombers to turn. I mean, if you end up here, this pirate's going to be the one that's in trouble, though. And who's your prime? I mean, you obviously, you want to kill. Drea first, but if all else fails, who do you go for? Gunrunner? I mean, that that guy's going to cause you some real problems. Z's not so much. I mean, they can cause some bumping. 
three bank out of the quad. I guess that means the Outer Rim Pioneer is going to be up here somewhere. Rolls for the quad. Ooh, takes a damage. So that means the quad jumper is not going to be uh, tractoring anything next round because he has to go over the rock again. Ooh, there's the three bank. Nice and safe. He could go for a target lock, but he's probably not going to get it. Might as well just focus. He did roll over this rock. Oh, takes another damage. Oh, that's three obstacle damage before the first engagement. There's the two forward. He's going to coordinate to the Crimor Crimoragoon. Not the Crimea. Sam saying, is he on a mine? No. You see the little star popping through. Sorry, that was his action. Was it was a focus? The coordinate went to the Benair pirate. Drea relieves the stress. Problem is, she's not going to be able to get anything, any re rolls. She could try and barrel roll right and forward. That's not super helpful. There's the one forward from. Rhymer, Jonas. Jonas is the one that's going to give everybody... Jonas is the Imperial Drea, right? Jonas is giving people... When a friendly ship at range 0 to 1 performs a torpedo or missile attack, that ship may reroll up to 2 attack die. So he will be activating on this round, but... may not live past this. Ooh. Let's see, does that arc line up for the Z? Yeah. Yep. So we'll see a proton torpedo here. Probably another proton there. Death Rain and Jonas. And we see Rhymer here. So they're looking to take these two out. Not bad. So here goes Death Rain at initiative four. So he does have initiative. All right, so three hits, re-rolls into a crit. I'm gonna turn another into a crit. Hit, hit, crit, crit. Needs paint on this Benair pirate. He gets one, so he's gonna take hit, crit, crit. So a hit crit on the shields, and then a crit, and that is, oh boy, console fire, I think? Damage engine. So probably going to see a cluster missile here out of Jonas. Nope, I'm gonna shoot his proton torpedoes. It is at range two. Two hits. Three hits. Two hits and a crit. So that is a dead Benair pirate. Overkilled. Let's take a, uh, an inventory of the munitions here. Jonas, 
spent one of his proton torpedoes, so did Death Rain. Now Rhymer is shooting. Looks like clusters. Hit crit. No, it can't be clusters, right? Where's Jonas? It was a cluster, okay. Is this it? The goon? Do you get to... Can you shoot cluster missiles at range 3? Hold on, let me pop in here. Gentlemen. Shit, the, uh... Shit, Janus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Rhymer can. What am I talking about? Alright, so that's two shields on the Crimora uh, Goon. And the Gun Runner has a hit crit. And that crit is structural damage. So they're getting shots back. One hit. This must be into Death Rain or Rhymer. Here's the Ion Cannon Veteran Tail Gunner. Two hits and a crit. Veteran Turret Gunner, not Tail Gunner. So that is into Rhymer. No, Jonas. Yes, because it's range two. One damage and two ion. So not bad. These uh, bombers able to delete a ship on turn one, put a significant amount of damage into the Gunrunner. Well, they only put one crit, but he put a damage into himself. And then the Crimora Goon lost both of its shields. That's about it. One damage into Jonas. We will see Drea move up start giving out rerolls. Same with this pirate. Now does he bank around this or does he go too forward and just take it? Maybe we see a four forward proton bomb try and catch this uh, gun runner. Maybe a stop maneuver out of death rain and some long banks or something out of the, uh, the bombers. Dials are going down. You know, let's stop bets. I think we've uh, engaged long enough. It'd be a real tragedy to see the uh, the quad jumper die before it can tractor anybody, but it's a good strategic move from math. We did get to see, did we see the, 
outer rim pioneer trigger on the gun runner or is that outside of range one maybe that's why there's only one shield gone couldn't get the quad jumper shot could see a two forward and a barrel roll would be a stressful maneuver but maybe a bank the next turn The real doozy is that Rhymer can fire clusters at range zero as well, yeah. I've seen him do that with advanced proton torpedoes. It's pretty terrifying. He is a very cost-effective ship. Say I'm saying clusters though are the best value overall in my opinion. I don't know, I I might have to vote for barrage rockets. For Rhymer. Yeah. Maybe. It is nice to get four charges. So we do have an ion maneuver out of Jonas. What if we'd see a cheeky sloop? I think he, he'd risk putting himself on this rock. All right, we're dropping bombs. Because why not? That's from Death Rain, right? Yep. All right, two backwards maneuver from the quad jumper. Nicely done. I can dig that. Ooh, one bank out of the Y. Let's see, can he avoid a damage this time? He sure can. Great job. He is range one of Jonas. Jonas cannot escape. The only hope is to kill that before it shoots. Now, does he barrel roll out of the way? Or does he target lock? Goes for the target lock. And that is from uh, Ben Air Pirate number two. So straight two out of the Pioneer. Does he coordinate a focus? I'm going to go ahead and fix this uh, target lock here.
Well, they didn't like my coloring. It's fine. But yeah, if you just drag a target lock out of here and put it on a base, it assigns that target lock to that ship. So they put it on Captain Jonas, which made it look like it was uh, Captain Jonas's target lock when it's the, uh, the Z's. So there's the one maneuver. Ooh, is that a bump? Sure is. No action for, uh, no extra action for Death Rain. He did get an action. What was his action after he dropped the bomb? See any extra target locks? There it is. Yeah, he's gonna try and kill that veteran turret gunner Y before it shoots. Samus says a boost. Okay. No, that couldn't have been because he he dropped it from here. So his maneuver was a was a uh, one forward. If he boosted, that would have been a one minus one way back there. Yeah, it was the target lock. So Rhymer moves up. There's another target lock on uh, on Death Rain. I mean, sorry, on uh, the Goon. Rhymer is going to shoot at the Quad Jumper. Oh, looks like, uh, Drea. Drea's a four, right? does have initiative. There's literally a token on the table to tell you who has initiative. So Drea shoots first, and there are now two damage cards on Jonas. So, Death Rain gonna fire cluster missiles into the goon. Two hits. Ooh, and an evade. One hit on the goon. Down to five. Why is it a crit? It is not. Boy, hit hit crit. Was oh, that the second? Oh boy, that's the uh so one two evades. Wow, nicely done. Takes a crit on the shields for the pioneer. It's one of the better cluster missile shots I've ever seen. Rhymer's gonna shoot. Does he want to do cluster missiles again? Oh boy, let's keep track of uh, the munitions here. Right on with two. So it looks like a hit and a crit into the gun runner. Structural damage, plus the uh, the rock here. Or, or not. Maybe it's not obstructed. One evade takes one crit. 
And it is weapons failure. Ooh, that's no good. Down to two. Looks like the goon has one. Yeah, okay. I think we're all caught up here. <laughs> Here's the uh, the gun runner. I think he's going to shoot into Jonas. One hit. Please let that one hit go through. Focus and a and an evade, so that's safe. The escape craft's gonna shoot into Jonas. A hit and a focus. A focus and a blank. I'm gonna spin the focus. Which is exactly what this goon wanted. Oh, did he have a... Oh, he's looking at the Drea uh, ability. Are they going to let him have that? Jonas is on four, right? Here's the cluster missile shot. Hit, hit, crit. Just barely in range two. Checking for obstruction. Nothing. Hit, hit, crit. On to Jonas. One, two, three. And that crit is fuel leak. It doesn't matter. He's on one anyway. So here's the second cluster missile for Rhymer. A hit and two focuses. Does not have arc. So just one. But it goes through! Rhymer takes one. All right. Six dice to get one damage through. We'll do a three shot primary. Two hits. And a reroll, thanks to Drea. Just two. Ooh, a blank and a focus. So Jonas is gone. Jonas was the one giving out rerolls, so that's kind of a big deal. Rhymer's still a big deal on his own, though. Here comes the follow-up shot. Um, Ion Cannon Turret, a hit, three hits. So that's going to be one damage and two Ions. So the score swings, 64 to 57 in Furious George's favor. Do have the possibility of a proton bomb over here. How did this gunrunner live? He's limping along here. Jacob saying that hurts the soul. <laughs> Got one, uh, one Z on one hull. Nice. Is it number two? Number two is fine. Hold on now. Number one died. 
All right, so let's do our munitions check. Jonas is dead, so it doesn't matter. Rhymer has fired one proton torpedo. And two cluster missiles. And dropped one prox mine. Death Rain has fired one proton torp, two cluster missiles, a proximity, and a proton. Okay, we're all good. Can that Z dodge that mine? No, he cannot. That mine ends about right there. So even a hard turn. It's going to screw him up. So we'll probably just shoot forward with a, a four. There are three. Try and get in the way, maybe. What he doesn't want to do is put himself here and give Rhymer an opportunity to turn and then drop a proximity mine on him. see death rain with a one forward does that mean the goon is gonna k-turn i think this is a good turn for a, a y k-turn probably means we'll see a one bank proton bomb he could just bank turn his arc backwards Jacob's saying 60% chance he dies from that mine. One automatic damage and two dice. Yeah. Ooh, he's going to throw a mine, or a, a proton bomb. So it's the last one on him for now. Maybe that means he's going to do a stop maneuver. So he drops a bomb to get an action. Yes, he's ioned. Ooh, there's that K-turn. Nicely done. Two bank out of the Gunrunner. Oh, he clips the mustache! Oh, no! Oh, thank goodness. It's just a focus. But I think that would be the third or fourth rock damage and the Z tries to avoid the uh, the mine but I don't think he does takes one and that is a dead Z number two he uh he risked his life, and he paid for it. Got a bump out of the escape craft. So the gun runner is going to take a crit. So is the escape craft, and so is the Y wing. Drea, nice little cluster there. One bank out of Major Rhymer.
Death Rain with the one forward. Gonna bump into the uh, quad jumper. So we'll get a double tap here, maybe a shot here, and a shot here. Depends on how this guy does with the Proton Bomb. Death Rain takes one as well. So it looks like it was a double damage on the gun runner. He is dead. Goodbye, old friend. Out of rim, loses the last shield. Drea loses a shield. Drea's got a side arc shot. Dorsal turret, not range one. One hit, and one evade. Natties. All right, now it's Death Rain's turn. Two dice primary out the front. Nope, he's got a target lock, I guess. Yep, cluster missile. Hit crit, is he gonna spend the Target lock, no. Hull breach on the Outer Rim Pioneer. One hit onto Drea and a Natty Evade. She's fine. So we'll see the range one from Crimea Goon, Crimora Goon, oh my goodness. That is three blanks. So he's gonna add one to do an ion. Oh, that, so that, that, I don't know what the blank was, but those hadn't been rolled yet. Here's the ion shot. Oh, a damage and two ions. Death Rain is ioned again. The last shield gone. Now I think we'll see a, a one bank proton bomb here. Probably another K turn out of Drea. I don't know what you do with this guy. Jacob says the Punisher is taking the punishment. He's got plenty left. Still got six hull. Still got bombs. Actually, does he still have bombs? No, he's dropped both of his proton bombs. He can drop a... Oh, he can drop a uh, Proximity. Uh, he doesn't have a Nimble Bomber, though. So it would only be here or here. Three K the Bomber. Ooh! Maybe? The only reason I would say maybe not is because I saw... Matheus uh, go over one of his own proximity mines yesterday, and he may be uh, maybe a little scarred from that. Rhymer may drop a proton bank to you. Rhymer could do a two bank. That'd be great. Not a lot of places uh, the old Crimora goon can go.
I think Death Rain might drop a proximity mine just to give himself an action. I don't, I don't mm. Cause Death Rain no. Uh Drea moves first, right? She's a four, he's a four. He's got initiative uh Furious has initiative, so yeah, this will move out of the way. This'll move. He could just try and force a bump. I imagine we'll see a hard turn out of Rhymer. Try and get a shot on the Pioneer here. Yeah, there's the Proximity Mine. Puts it as close as possible. Gives Death Rain an action before his maneuver. Takes a stress. Focus is the only action he can take though. Yeah, after he moves. Um, after your ion maneuver and your perform action step, you can only focus, but this is in the system phase, so I think it's different. Oh, if that bump kept the goon out of range one, that would be amazing. Oh, he's going to move forward and bump, and that's going to get him out of, or get him into, keep him in the, uh, the goon's arc. He should coordinate a focus, maybe? thinking about it. Maybe he dialed in like a 1 or something for Drea and he's wondering if he should coordinate back there. Or if he could, he, he might be able to coordinate a barrel roll, well, maybe. Goes for the focus. Nicely done. 4k. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be close. <gasps> he bumps into the Outer Rim Pioneer, so we'll get shots here and probably here. All right, Rhymer, too hard time too eh, too hard turn. Might as well take a target lock here, probably. Ooh, goes for the, uh... The long shot there, Andrea. Alright, so the bomb goes off. One damage to both the goon and death rain. So death rain's gonna take a crit. And it is a direct hit. Is that half points? Five damage. I think so. Um the goon, I think, took a double damage as well. Down to three. So Drea doesn't have a shot. Oh, does not have a shot on Death Rain. So we're going to shoot two dice into Rhymer. So we're going to get three dice. Range three. Oh, no! All focus. Caught looking. And that's a crit. That's another double damage. Wow. Rhymer down to three. That's 131 to 121 now. 
That is so close. So I think this is Rhymer back at Drea with clusters. to Drea. No. Hmm. Is that into the Outer Rim Pioneer? No. That first shot must have been the range one into Death Rain, I guess. Who has four damage cards. So down to two. Now he's got an ion token. So he's not ioned. Wow, did Rhymer not? Maybe he, maybe Rhymer didn't have Arc, and that's why they moved on to the goon. I'm just going to double check the ion thing. Just to make sure. So these guys are dialing it in. During the planning phase, an ion ship is not assigned a dial during the activation phase. An ionized ship that did not have a dial assigned to it during this, the planning phase activates as follows, blah, blah, blah. So since it's in the system phase, there is no limitation of what it can do. As far as I can tell. All right, back to the game at hand. Death Rain. Gonna get awfully close to this rock. What does he have in terms of munitions? He has no... The only thing he has left is one proton... Uh, torpedo. So cluster missiles are gone. I don't know how. Whatever. Uh, last proximity was dropped there. Rhymer. Still on one proton torpedo and two cluster missiles. And then one of each bomb. Jacob says, this game is keeping me on my toes. Scott, who do you think has the advantage here? Furious George. <sighs> yeah, because Death Rain is ionized and out of bombs. And because there are turreted ships over here. Yeah, it feels like... Furious George has the advantage, so he goes for a block on Death Rain uh, by doing a 1 forward with the Outer Rim Pioneer. Is he going to turn the arc of the Y Wing? He sure is. Rhymer. If he does a 1 bank, it's going to be a bump. Oh no! Wow! Look how bad I am at this game. So we could see a cluster from here to there. Dre is on six and one. Outer and Pioneer is on one. I think you just focus. Although veteran turret gunner is still gonna turret, uh, still gonna turret, still gonna trigger. So we'll see a shot out the front and then out the back. Death Rain with the one forward. Um, Dre is going to shoot out the back, range one. 
a hit and a crit. Dorsal turret. Hit crit go through on death rain. He's dead. No, he's gonna. F oh, this is on. Rhymer? Okay. Um, the crit goes through. It's a fuel leak. So that was a. Oh, Drea. Sorry. Drea's turret is facing this direction. So now, yeah, Drea wanted to shoot into here just so that Rhymer might get taken out. Three hits. Wow. Nicely done. Uses the target lock. So Drea's going to take one shield and two hits. Down to four. Here's the second. Nice. Two crits into the Outer Rim Pioneer. He needs all paint, and he doesn't get it. That is a dead Outer Rim Pioneer. So, math back on top with uh, 155 to 131. 15 minutes left. Death Rain's going to get his chance to shoot. Uh, range one, three dice into Drea. No mods. Oh, oh my god! Three crits! One evade. That's a natty. But two crits go through. Loose stabilizer and weapons failure. That was insane. So, Crimea Goon's gonna shoot range one out the front first. Nothing. Two blanks and a focus. Now out the back. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna reroll one with, uh... With Drea into another blank. Here's the ion cannon shot out the back. Two hits. So that is a hit and an ion. So it's only one. He's a medium base, so he's not ion. So death rain down to one. One thirty-one to one fifty-five, Drea Renthal with weapons failure and loose stabilizer. So we do have. A, we have two proton bomb. No, sorry. We have a proton bomb and a prox out of Major Rhymer. So this is a great place to be because if Drea doesn't do a straight maneuver, she takes a damage. If she does take a straight maneuver, she's going to go over your proximity mine. So I assume that's what you're going to put here. Now, Drea moves before Rhymer, so I wonder, is there anything you can do, like a uh, too hard or a one bank, something to make you bump into Rhymer? It's not a straight maneuver. You're going to take a damage, but it keeps you from going over this proximity mine. go with death rain you run away and start reloading
Poor Drea. It's a bad place to be. Go straight over a mine. Or turn and take another guarantee. There's it's a guaranteed damage no matter what. Do you go straight with the mine? She may be able to bank. Nope. Yep, he's gonna. Oh. He does a proton. Interesting. So we see a bank. Did he do his maneuver? Sure did. Too hard. Okay. So he doesn't get an action. Dre is thinking. Yeah, Dre is hoping to cover up the, uh, the bomb template so that Furious or uh, uh, Math forgets. Goes for the focus. Death Rain with a two hard. Looking to get out of there. What's he going to reload? Reloads the Proton Torps. No, he's already got one of those. Oh, he boosts. All right. All right, Rhymer might... He needs to barrel roll, maybe. Yeah. At least get out of range one of that ion cannon turret. Oh, man. He's going to focus. Oh, he could almost get ioned onto that proton, or that proximity mine. Drea takes a crit. It is another loose stabilizer. So she takes a damage from loose stabilizer, then a crit. Then I guess another damage from loose stabilizer. They're saying she's dead. Two hits and a focus. Uh, there's only one shot, so it must be this range one ion shot. Oh, no. Natty evades out of Rhymer. So I think the goon needs to pursue Deathrain, right? What is Deathrain going to do to stay on the board? I think you turn in, but there's not really a great place for that bomber to go either. What does he have left on him? Rhymer's got one prox and two protons, is that right? No, he dropped his last proton. That's right. He has one proximity left. So he could do a two bank. Proximity mine.
Yeah, I wonder if Death Rain stays on the board. Does he have one hard? Goes for the bank and a proximity mine. Now, do we see a K turn out of the goon? That would be great. Nope, two hards over it, so that's a guaranteed damage. That's two hits, he's dead. One crit. Oh, did he have fuel leak on? I think he's dead. Yeah. I must have missed his fuel leak. He is gone, and that is the end of the game. Wow. What a twisting, turning match that was. Whoo! Congratulations to Matheus. Let's settle up those bets. I wonder what, uh... What was Death Rain gonna do? Alright. Two hard fits. He's fine. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Congratulations to F Matheus. Thanks for playing Furious George. Till next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.